about the effectiveness of, uh, okay. Let me start again. The recording has just started. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to our esteemed audience and speakers. Welcome to another highly anticipated Yelda webinar about the effectiveness of community networking for African development that hopes to highlight and raise awareness about the important role community networking plays in the social, economic, and political development of Africa. My name is Immaculate Akini Haimo, and it, it's a pleasure to moderate with you today. So just going through the etiquette of how we are going to conduct our session today. Yeah, just, just going through it, uh, the same is, the same is uh, shown on the screen. When you enter the round table, make sure you are on mute. Remain on mute throughout the round table. Ensure your camera is off. Type your questions or comments in the chat box only. Put your name and country so that at least we can know who you are and where you're coming from. Those whose questions or comments are selected will be asked to unmute and speak. If you're asked to speak, you must introduce yourself by name and country only. Then as you answer, you repeat the question and comment, you type in the chat box, then we can, we, we can see it. So just um, going through the introduction of our topic for today. Generally, we both know what networking is in our knowledge, uh, but, just so, but just so to go through it briefly, network networking is something that we do throughout our lives, whether we recognize it or not. We share ideas with peers at work. We recommend products and services to our friends and family. We, we mingle at social events, and of course we attend formal net, networking events. It is defined broadly to create links within and between different organizations and communities to help people achieve their goals, share information and ideas, create opportunities. Well, now in Africa, very little is known of the ties that bind individual, individuals, groups, and organizations how they serve as channels for flows of material and information, and how they influence social, economic, and political outcomes. Outcome. Basically, that's uh, networking. Networking has its own uh, various benefits. You may be wondering why more businesses and individuals network. Um, you might be wondering why more business and individuals um, are not networking. The thing is, networking can be challenging to do consistently and regularly. Uh, mostly in our different uh, interactions, you find that uh, I figure, let's say 48% of people say that they consistently keep in touch with their network, and 25% admit that they don't network at all. Um, most people who don't uh, network are women and introverts are less likely to network regularly. Basically, that is our introduction for our topic today. The theme for the webinar is effectiveness of community networking for African development. The Youth Alliance for Leadership and Development in Africa, YALDA, through this webinar hopes to highlight and raise awareness about the important role community networking plays in the social, economic, and political development of Africa. So we have our speakers today. Our first speaker is Theo Masango. She's the regional head, SAD, Africa's Young Entrepreneurs uh, from South Africa. Our second speaker is uh, Amadu Sharifi Rab Rabiu. Sorry about the pronunciation. Uh, he holds PhD in natural resources management and climate change 
an expert in information management, GIS and database is from Niger. Our third speaker is uh, Fadwa Issa. She's the event coordinator and freelance translator, interpreter, she's from Egypt. Our fourth speaker, yes, is Oladapo Awosokandre. He's the founder and executive director at African Development and Advocacy Center, Afridak. He's from Nigeria and uh, in the UK. Our fifth speaker is Crystal Monte. He's the co-manager of OG Sal, company and promoter of brand Turner's drinks. She's from Cameroon. Our sixth and last speaker is uh, Julie Imi Naki Nakia Yoon, apologies about the pronunciation. She's the CEO and founder, Mukazi Prinua. She's from Uganda. Yes, those are our speakers for today. Just to ask an overall, an overall question to our speakers for today. In today's world, networking has become a necessity. A great number of uh, res researchers shows that professional networks generally lead to more job and business opportunities. How can the African continent effectively benefit from community networking to foster its development? If I can read the question again before our speaker will answer. Our, our, our first speaker will welcome question for an answer from Theo Masango. Let me just read the question again. In today's world, networking has become a necessity. A great number of researchers shows that professional networks generally lead to more job and business opportunities. How can the African continent effectively benefit from community networking to foster its development? We can get an answer from Theo Masango. Since it uh, seems like Theo is not, uh, I, can't, I can't hear from her. Maybe we can get an answer from Amadou Sharifi Rabiu. Amadou, if you can hear me. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I hope you hear me. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Please proceed. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so my answer is um, uh, the African... Uh, please, uh, excuse me. The African continent effectively benefits from community network in foster its development. That's the question. So I can say about it is uh, the African can recognize um, that provide afford, uh, affordable connectivity to reduce the barrier to access uh, and share information and knowledge. So in information that can be used among other things to educational and uh, empowerment opportunities. So such like uh, online training, so access to and creation of jobs, funding sources, uh, and additionally, uh, you can access to information is described as stepping stone from people, especially youth, to join the knowledge economy and start their own business. So as uh, information technologies, so can relate it to, uh, to scale existing ones. So with uh, pricing and services and services that are relevant to their immediate communities. So, so you can say uh, also about knowledge, it this can prove vital in career um, parts such as business or marketing. So you can see uh, reaching out to such people to ask for advice is a greater way 
to start including them as part as, as professional network. So the network provides self-determination over the prices and the services offered, and it skipped uh, profit local instead of extracting them to external and even global players. So this, this um, emphasis in the community empowerment and investment rather than in monetary profit. So particularly when uh, this profit is extracted from a community in terms such as empowerment comes with better, a better understanding of technology which develops at the technical capacity of those engaged engage with it and enable, for instance, the creation of local relevant uh, content and services. So you can say also it creates more uh, resilient and agile network that prevent abuse, uh, spraying uh, censorship and control from a single entity. So the Africans can uh, also uh, provide uh, community networks as being significant contributors to the local economy because we are talking about uh, we are talking about African development in uh, in terms of economic and uh, uh, leadership that we can provide as uh, as a youth in uh, in our in our area. So this knowledge and or, or professional within the same field often um, often share advice and knowledge with each other. So when we are engaging at uh, the same network, so you can provide a lot of things together uh, without any um, struggling for, um, um, so that's all, thank you. Yes, thank you, thank you, Madhu, that's quite interesting. Yes, um, I'm informed that uh, Theo is here to join us. Uh, maybe we can have an answer from Fadwa Isa, if Fadwa can hear us. Thank you. Thank you, Immaculate. Thank you. Uh, and hi, everyone. Um, for me, uh, networking is sharing. And uh, it's like interacting uh, with others to exchange uh, information, develop professional uh, or social contacts. And as you said in the, in the introduction, it's something that we use in our uh, daily basic life uh, in, uh, with our friends, family, uh, in social and professional events. So it's like a way to create links between uh, different organizations and communities. And we noticed in the last two years due to COVID-19 that there is an explosion in, um, in virtual networking organization. Uh, we can now uh, e-meeting, e-collaborating, e-exchanging, it's all virtually, it's all uh, via the internet, like we're doing now. So it's a way of networking uh, because networking is so powerful. As I read once, um, there is a quote that I read that uh, you can have uh, everything that you want if you help enough people to get what they want. This is why networking is so powerful. So the benefits of, uh, of the concept of networking is uh, you can share knowledge, you can share what you have, you can exchange ideas, you can uh, get your connections big and big by sharing your knowledge. And this for sure will create opportunities uh, and uh, increasing your confidence by talking to others from different uh, uh, point of view, different mentality, different concepts. And this will, uh, will for sure gets you more noticed and more uh, visible. And this is for the benefits of all of us in Africa. And in our webinar here, we will go deep, we'll talk more, we will discuss the benefits of networking for our lovely content Africa from different aspects. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you, Fado, for the insights. Uh, we can have Oladapo. If Oladapo can hear us, we can have Oladapo. Uh, yes, uh, thank you, uh, moderator. Uh, my name is Oladapo Awoshokare. I'm the executive director of the African Development and Advocacy Center. And we are based in London, United Kingdom. I'm originally from Nigeria and I've uh, worked a number of years before relocating to the UK. So I do have a clear understanding of the value of uh, networking. And I want to start uh, by actually saying that uh, my relocating to the UK is on the basis of networking, uh, because uh, there was an organization in the UK uh, that I came to uh, deliver a training session in Nigeria, and I was one of the facilitators. And it was based on that a networking opportunity that I was offered a job to come to the UK as far back as in 2006. And here I am now, uh, almost uh, 20 years after uh, working and having my own organization in the UK. So that actually underscores the value of networking. Uh, and networking can actually start from the family unit. Uh, as a family, uh, we all, as Africans, we have extended family. Uh, and the cousins, uh, uncles, aunties, that is where we start our networking. And as we grow older, we continue that networking in school, primary school, secondary school, university. And I can tell you that a lot of the people you met along those uh, routes of your life in primary, secondary, and university, some of them you still keep in touch with, and some of them, when you hear their name, maybe they are now uh, in different positions in your country or abroad, uh, you are keen to connect with them because they will know you from you know, in primary school, secondary school, and university. And that is just one level. Another level uh, where we network is um, faith organization. Uh, we could belong to churches, to mosques, we network at that level. So networking is a natural part of us as human beings, uh, uh, even from childhood. Uh, but looking at the question from a professional angle, uh, there is a lot that can happen in terms of development to Africa uh, if we understand the value. And uh, we are also able to leverage on networking. And I can give you uh, a few examples. Uh, we know uh, from data that the remittances from the African diaspora to Africa is in billions of dollars even it's far more than the GDP of some African countries. Uh, for example, in 2019, it was uh, $714 billion that was remitted uh, by African diaspora to Africa, different African countries. And even in 2020, with COVID, uh, that we thought that the remittances uh, would be lower, actually it was, actu it was higher because we had $773 billion in remittances. Now imagine uh, that that is just money coming into the African continent. Imagine if we have over 3 million diaspora Africa that are all over the world coming to contribute uh, in terms of their skills, in terms of their knowledge, in terms of their experience back to Africa. And the good thing uh, about uh, the world now is that it is a global village. So now we can connect. You don't need to physically have to visit Africa, even if you live abroad, for you to be able to contribute to the continent. And I see that uh, this is a good opportunity for us as a continent to be able to tap into those resources. It is time for us to, that, to start bridging bridges, those bridges that can help our development economically, socially, politically, and uh, more importantly, for us to be able to share knowledge. And I'll give one more example before my five minutes is up. Uh, I'm sure uh, back, I'm not sure in other African countries, but I do know that in Nigeria, uh, there is a medical, uh, uh, you know, uh, tourism, uh, people going abroad to, for medical reasons. And you can imagine if that same people are able to connect to experts and professionals, medical experts abroad, they are coming to Africa instead of uh, the uh, African elites going abroad, how much our medical uh, sector, our health sector will grow in Africa. And that's just one example. Uh, and 
part of that uh, uh, of what we miss out is also the number of international students that go abroad to do masters. Imagine if that same institutions uh, can be created in Africa, the development and also the for us to be able to remain the best brain that travel abroad in Africa. I think my five minutes is up. I will wait for the uh, other question for me to respond. Thank you. Thank you so much, Oladapo. Yes, our next speaker is uh, Crystal Monte. Crystal, if you can hear us, you have the floor. Crystal? Just one minute, please. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, good afternoon, everyone. Good morning or good evening, according to the time. I'm Crystal Monte from uh, the co-manager of Bojisal and the promoter of uh, Tony's Drink brand in Cameroon. So uh, it's a pleasure for me today to be uh, with you and to discuss on this uh, this topic, which is uh, really useful for the youth and uh, the entrepreneur in Africa which is network, networking, community networking. Um, I can say I'm a pure fruit from this networking because I was born in Cameroon. I think you can, you can get me, you, you listen. Are you hearing me, please? Yes, yes, you can okay. hear, yes. Okay, okay. So I was born in Cameroon and raised up in Cameroon. Uh, after uh, all my degrees, I had to work. I had like uh, five, eight years of experiences, and I decided to launch myself into entrepreneurship. And uh, when I decided that, I also uh, wanted to put in place all the, the tips and the major that will, the elements that will help me to, to reach the goal. And that's why I decided to be open-minded to go to, um, to what other people's good tips for a good networking is to be open-minded. Uh, you don't need to be shy, you need to go to um, don't be shy, don't be afraid, go to others and use uh, the social media in a good way. Today we have many youth, many young people on social media. There's a lot of space and they use it to do uh, like sharing, I can say, uh, some information that are not really useful for their personal development and for the for Africa development. So we can just imagine if you use that space to, in order to communicate, many youth can we touch in one minute. When you go on TikTok, you go on Facebook, you go on uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, you see youth, are, they are really active. So we use that to communicate, to share the good information that would be very useful for them. So networking uh, today in Africa is um, Crystal, hello. I think we've lost you, or is it my device? Crystal? I think we... I think she has lost connection. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, maybe we will allow her to be back. Um, Next, uh, 
we, we can have uh, Julie, Imi, and Keyun as we wait for Crystal to be back with us. Julie, you have the floor. Um, thank you, Moderata, and thank you so much for the invitation uh, to this summit. Uh, most of uh, the panelists have talked about the stats on community engagement, community networks. Well, what I have to say is community networks are surely a solution to connect the unconnected. We are here today engaging because of the community that we have in Yauda. Some of us are who we are, we are founders because we got out of our comfort zone, we networked, we were able to pick these ideas from different people and we started organizations. Um, the fact is uh, most community networks have goals and objectives. Most of them emphasize development among their memberships, among their community. They emphasize uh, goals that reduce uh, uh, poverty that emphasize personal development and all that. Uh, most community organizations provide services that emphasize things like internet access, digital literacy, financial literacy, and so forth. Uh, I believe most of the community organizations that we are part of emphasize personal development based on the previous panelists. But the question is, how can we create impactful community organizations in our countries and in Africa at large? My thoughts are, I believe we should, we should be advisors to community development. We should be advisors to community networks. In the networks we are in, we should emphasize that the governance is put number one, that they are run effectively, that they are impacting the community, they are running programs that realize a uh, very important aspect in membership of the people in the community. They are accountable to people in the community. You know, we have, <laughs> I don't want to go the negative bit, but we have uh, community organizations that are not really addressing the needs of the community. For me, I believe if we stand up and foster for community networks that actually address problems in the community in the long run, we shall realize development of communities in Africa. That's my take. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Uh, do we have Crystal back? Yes. Crystal, yes, Crystal you're back? Was, yes, I'm back. I'm back. Thank you. <laughs> OK. OK, yeah, then you can proceed. Yeah. I can go ahead, it's okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so um, I was uh, trying to give some tips, useful, useful tips regarding the community networking. So today I'm in Cameroon, but I succeeded to have some contact in uh, Uganda, Kenya, and other countries. And this will help me, help me to know how they are, do, they, they are facing their own challenges there. And when we are talking about community networking is really to see how we can give back to the youth, how we can uh, empower youth and bring them in this way. Because today, Africa uh, growth, uh, I think is it is uh, based on cannot do that youth positive engagement without working, without learning them that community networking. That is very, very important because um, Africa is really rich. Africa is, uh, Africa has a potential. And what we have here in Cameroon we definitely don't have it in Kenya and in other countries. So if we put together our effort, we put together uh, uh, the, 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 the information, the good information that we have, we can, we can uh, afford all the other difficulties and look forward. So I really believe that uh, community networking is a good asset for Africa development 
it's a good asset for uh, the youth empowerment and hopefully uh, we wish that our government and other organizations will help us to to really emphasize on that like bringing the youth and all the other leaders to work on that vision so this is what i can say and this is what i'm trying to do actually here in cameroon with um um the project that um, i'm running on with tony's dream which is a community uh, project so all the youth that are surrounding uh, on the project we are we are trying to bring them in that in that area to let them have that mindset for example me i'm uh, from the french speaking area in cameroon so i was born raised in the french speaking area so i speak i'm francophone i don't speak english i've never went out from cameroon so i just decided to learn english and i learned english with nigerian friends i learn english with uh, kenyan friends i learn english with uganda's friends like working on my on my work networking that's all the community networking okay and, and i'm not afraid i'm not afraid i'm not shy i i ask questions when I want to, I want in, an information, I'll say, okay, excuse me. I know my, my English is not really perfect, but uh, do you kind of have this information from you? And that's, that's how it goes. So, and you don't need to uh, ask too much from that person because sometimes when you ask some questions and uh, it's like, you don't, you don't even understand what you're trying to say. So that is not normal. So you really need to be, to ask more relevant questions and that will create a familiarity that will create like making the person to be more comfortable to uh, uh, listen to you. And that's the, that's, that, that's how I, I can say um, I will try and I succeeded to work on my on my network today. So today I can say, OK, I can I can easily maybe express myself in English or but one year or two years or three years before I never imagined that I can do this. So and this is really because I try to work on my network. I really try to work on that and to gather all the elements for me to be a, a great entrepreneur. And for an entrepreneur, it is really useful to, 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 to be open-minded and to go and to have a, net, a good network. So this is what I can say today. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Krista. Mm. Do we have Theo Masango? Do we have Theo Masango? Okay, she seems like she's not with us. Theo, are you with us? Theo Mastango? Okay, she's not. Uh, let's just proceed. So we will have, uh, we now have uh, specific questions for our six speakers. Our first speaker being Julie Imi. The question is, networking is one of the most important ways to find and keep customers and for business owners to raise capital. As an entrepreneur, what is the place and role of networking in your business growth strategy? Yes, Julie, um, can you hear, can thank you. you hear us? Thank you. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes, yes, you have the floor. Yes, I can hear you clearly. Um, yesterday we had a workshop uh, where they were sharing feedback to different um, support organizations uh, in Uganda, and uh, they were sharing feedback uh, on a survey on how we can support entrepreneurs going forward. Um, what happened in COVID is that we're doing <laughs> most of the trainings uh, online through Zoom, uh, there was limited interaction among people. And um, I can confirm to you guys that the training, that the feedback from the training was negative because the aspect of networking was not there, you know? 
every participant kept saying, I don't think I benefited from the training because I did not network. I don't think my business benefited from the training because I did not network. That's how important networking is to the aspect of an entrepreneur. For me, I believe an entrepreneur will enter a room probably to look for the first sale or to look for the second sale or to double their sales or to triple their sales or, you know, the most important objective of an entrepreneur is to make a sale. An entrepreneur cannot make a sale if they are not networking. That's how much important networking is for, for business growth. So what are we doing now? We are back to the drawing board. We are not getting rid of uh, online uh, trainings but we are limiting how much time we put on online trainings. Um, we have a number of things in Uganda. We still have COVID and we have Ebola, but we are finding ways that we can include the aspect of networking in all the trainings that we do going forward. Uh, we believe that through networks, uh, entrepreneurs can meet their, the people that can buy their products, number one, they can meet their mentors, they can meet their coaches, they can meet investors. I mean, if you don't network, how are you going to position yourself um, so that you can know what's happening out there? Uh, if you don't network, how will you know if you have a good quality product? If you don't network, how will you uh, find your next business partner? You know, so, um, Networking is the way to go. Um, personally, in the community that I lead, uh, I've noticed that the people that network uh, realize um, their annual turnovers improving over time because they are intentional about it. They position themselves uh, to, 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 to grow their businesses in the long run. So networking is a very important aspect when it comes to an entrepreneur. Um, you as an entrepreneur, you're the point of sale. You're the marketing manager. I mean, you, 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 you're talking about your product. If you don't put your product out there, it will not sell. That also comes to us founders. When you're a founder, you can't focus on operations. You have to focus on strategy, which is the next partnership I have to look out for. How can I go and position myself to get the next deal, to get the next partnership, to get the next sponsorship? You know, so network, networking is really key. I was once an introvert. Uh, I loved the comfort of my home. Um, I feared people. I was afraid of speaking to people, but I realized it had to change. It had to change. I had to position myself uh, to realize my goals and objectives in life. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie. Um, our next question goes to, I'm not sure if Theo Masango is back, but then we can, if she's not with us, we can go to Oladapo, then we can come back to Theo later. Okay, um, thank you, uh, moderator. So my question is to look at how could it help the continent? So how could uh, collaboration and networking help the continent from, to rebound from social economic bodies? Ah, okay, so um, the problem with or uh, challenges we have in Africa uh, is partly self-imposed and it's also uh, partly due to our history of uh, uh, neocolonialism, colonialism and neocolonialism, I would say. Uh, before 1880, uh, when uh, Africa was balkanized and shared among the European countries, we all lived as one community. Uh, and uh, But now, we now live across uh, different uh, uh, state lines that has hampered uh, the way we network and we work with each other. I was uh, really... Uh, um, uh, listening keenly when uh, Christelle uh, spoke about uh, being in French part of Cameroon. Uh, so it's interesting that you know, Cameroon has a French speaking and also uh, English speaking. Uh, 
Uh, and uh, when we talk of Africa, we talk about the languages that has been imposed on us, not actually talking about our ethnic languages. Uh, like a country like Nigeria has over 360, 350 ethnic groups with distinct languages that they speak. But so let's leave that aside. So how can we uh, work together as a community? Uh, we know that uh, we, in terms of formal institutions, uh, Africa has, uh, you know, the African Union. We also have the different regional groups, uh, you know, the SADC, the ECOWAS, the uh, East African Union. Uh, however, uh, unfortunately, uh, they have tried, but they have not been able to move Africa to, the, to that destination that we want Africa to be. So what can we do as different community organizations and even as individuals? I realize that a lot of people want to work in silos. Uh, they want to sort of do their own thing, be the originator and have all the original ideas. And that cannot work for us in terms of development in Africa. There's need for us to work more together, vertically and horizontally in terms of collaboration and uh, networking. And we can do this in different ways. Now, um, I know uh, the, because of the fact that uh, people live in different parts of even their country, even their state where they stay uh, in Africa, there's need to actually find ways of networking beyond physically meeting in a place. And that is the beauty of Zoom, beauty of I'm here in London and I'm able to actually network now with uh, 15 other people. Uh, so with Zoom, uh, the uh, Microsoft, and all the other sort of uh, collaboration or video conferencing that we can use. But how much are we taking advantage of this? Uh, we are not taking much advantage of this technology that is available for us to be able to share ideas. We have farmers uh, in Congo, in Cameroon, uh, in Nigeria that actually have no clue about some of the issues that is happening on their farm. And we've got experts, Cameroonian uh, experts or you know, uh, Nigerian experts or Egyptian experts that is in America or even uh, in, in Russia that actually have a solution to that. How are we tapping into this knowledge? How are we even within the continent tapping into that knowledge? Because there's a lot of intelligent people, there's a lot of people that have done researches on some of things that could uh, lead to the breakthrough in Africa. So we need to find ways. And I'm really, really uh, glad that uh, Yalda uh, is organizing uh, such a forum where they bring people together uh, because that is where we need to start uh, that's where we need to go to in Africa. We need to start working together as a team rather than working in silos. And I believe that our young people need also to realize the value. I know uh, one of my of the speakers was speaking about uh, the uh, the what social media has caused uh, in terms of the negative role of social media. It has both negative and positive, uh, because at the end of the day, I do remember prior to uh, confirming my uh, role as a speaker for this webinar, uh, the person that made contact with me, I didn't reach on time, reach him on time, and he was able to extract my details from LinkedIn. LinkedIn is social media. Uh, so if I didn't have a profile, uh, my photo, because the photo being used today is actually from LinkedIn. Uh, before I could send the photo tip. And that is part of the benefit of social media. People will not know you or what you do, and you won't be able to tap into that resource if people are not using social media and networking. And I believe also it is on the basis of that networking that I'm actually speaking here today and I'm meeting other wonderful people, speakers and also participants here. So there's a lot we can do uh, in Africa. Uh, there's a lot that we can leverage on. So, but I think the most important bit is about being strategic. There is not all networking that is beneficial. Uh, there are some networking that, you know, you are not getting anything out of it in terms of, so you need to understand what you want and you need to actually do proper research of where you want to get it. So uh, if you go to church or mosque, you are also networking. 
But what are you getting from there? You are getting spiritual insight and spiritual benefit. If you go to a business networking meeting, uh, what are you getting from that? You are getting business ideas, being able to also uh, form new alliances. Uh, because in this day and age, what people do is collaboration and consortiums. So as a charity and a not-for-profit, uh, if you want to get grants from big international funders, they don't want you to, they don't want you to work as uh, alone. They want you to work with other you know, uh, organizations that are in the same area. So you form a consortium and you're able to get a big grant for you to be able to help your community. So we need to start looking at networking from that uh, perspective of how strategic can you place yourself? Where should you place yourself and what should you be seeking for? You need to have a goal. You need to have an aim. You need to know what you want before you start networking so that you are actually assessing the right people, the right resources, and the right information. Uh, I hope uh, I've been able to uh, do justice to that question. Thank you. Yes, yes, that was really interesting, Oladapo. We, we can have uh, Crystal. Crystal with the next question, if I can just read. Although building and nurturing professional relationships improve self-confidence, the quality of work and increased job satisfaction, the process requires effort. What are some useful tips for successful networking? Crystal, if you can hear us, you have the floor. Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, I think uh, the, the other moderate uh, speaker just uh, went through some uh, few tips, which is uh, your goal. You need to define your goal first because uh, for to, to do a good networking, you need to know what you want. You need to know uh, what you're searching and to determine uh, all the milestones that uh, you think you, you would take. And firstly, and secondly, uh, I think we have a digital social media. Uh, uh, time and we can try to use it usefully used in a in a in a useful way and this we all know it has uh, the good and the bad bad side but social media too can help us that's the second uh, tip so the first one is uh, to have a goal to really uh, identify your need and uh, maybe draw a, a milestone. Okay, like uh, I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, what's the vision I have, and what who do I need to maybe uh, reach that or uh, that my goal? So when I've surrounded all those questions, I can now. Uh, try to see how I will afford them. The first thing is social media, because if you are in a country, maybe for an entrepreneur, you don't, at, your begin, at the beginning, you don't uh, really uh, have uh, all the, the necessary means to have, to gather all the elements. So what you can do is use the digital. Use the digital in the useful way you try to be uh, constantly uh, active, active in uh, in a good way, in good organization, uh, like following maybe if your interest is uh, Yalda, okay, you follow Yalda activities, you follow um, African development activities, going create a profile on LinkedIn, create a profile on Twitter, like trying to uh, build your, how can I say, your, your, your branding, your personal branding. And uh, the next one is to be open-minded, you know, to be curious. 
uh, don't be shy, don't be afraid, and uh, really to uh, to have the how can I say this? Uh, have the tact. How can I address uh, uh, a problem? So. Uh, do I have to present myself? Uh, how do how do you ask Crystal? Yes. Crystal, so, can you hear us? I think we're losing you. So you have to take into considerations. That tip, you need to be very careful. Why? Yeah, the last thing is to be careful while building uh, your networking, because there are some networking that are not really good. And some people might use it and, and, and maybe propose something that is not good for you. And for that, you need to be careful too. So these are some few elements that I think you can really uh, use to have, to build your own uh, network. Uh, this is what I can say. And to ask more relevant questions to the people that you meet that will help you and do your own research and before going to them. So this is what I can say. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you. I'm not sure if we have Theo Masango. I'm not sure if she has joined us. Theo, if you, if you have joined us, you can just let us know. But we can move forward. I give this opportunity to our audience to write any question that they might be having in regards to this topic of today. They can just write it in the chat. Yes, everyone in the audience, the floor is yours. You can just write the questions in the chat and then we'll come back to them later on. Proceeding, we can have uh, Fadwa Isa. Uh, question yeah. being, uh, yes, yes, Fadwa. Networking uh, is also, uh -huh. <laughs> okay, you can have the floor, Fadwa. Okay, sorry. It's okay. Uh, so the question is, uh, how can the networking is uh, useful to market ourselves and our continent. So here we have two, uh, two keywords, networking and marketing. Uh, for me, for all, when we hear the word uh, market, marketing, what comes in mind is the, um, uh, the smallest grocery shop in the area till the biggest and biggest firms. So, Networking, yes, is defined as a marketing strategy. How? Uh, we can create, build, and deepen business relationships. We can collaborate and be a part of business community. We can share our uh, stories, our experiences, our thoughts, our ideas. And by that, we help others and we grow our business. So we can say that uh, network marketing is like a uh, method or a business concept. And for our continent, Africa, uh, Africa is uh, one of the biggest market as it contains uh, lots of uh, resources, not just natural resources, but also human. Uh, we can be called uh, as a home of uh, the youngest population in the world. And this continent promises to be a major concept, conception uh, market all over the next three decades. So uh, this will uh, increase, this will uh, get uh, 
with the technology, with the digital ecosystem, this will get bigger and bigger by the youth, by them, because this is the future. Uh, imagine uh, when we uh, when we have a small group of people uh, uh, trying to get uh, a business uh, a business successful. What about in this large continent? Imagine when each country uh, collaborate with others uh, to have a uh, a large benefit, a big benefit. So while collaborating, this will reach a larger target uh, divided into three segmentations like demographic, geographic, and psychographic. We can also, uh, by this networking, uh, risk uh, diversification and uh, compensate the losses because when, when you depend on different uh, markets, this will uh, depend, uh, compensate your losses. Also, this is a way of cost reduction and you can get uh, benefits from uh, taxes and from uh, 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 government programs by the different countries. Uh, also, we have the youth. We have to target them. We have to deliver and to deliver the message to them by their ways. Uh, we, we said that the, the, the power of social media as uh, our previous uh, colleague speakers uh, discussed, the power of social media. Uh, this is for now the, one of the best uh, ways to, to market and to get, to get both the, these two keywords, networking and marketing. Uh, we have to 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 uh, to know these trendy ways to get to this uh, generation generation Z uh, by uh, by by TikTok. You know there is a study in UK that this generation get their information really information by TikTok, not just Google, by TikTok by create by by this. Uh, uh, small videos like uh, also YouTube shorts, they 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 uh, they deliver the message in 15, 30 minutes maximum. So this is a way to to raise awareness and to deliver uh, our uh, our uh, messages, our uh, uh, interests, our uh, work uh, to to develop uh, our continent. Um, and this is the way of networking. This is a uh, the, the power of networking. So uh, network marketing is uh, described as uh, the business of the future. And uh, by uh, collaborating with the Africans, uh, the, the, the continent, we can create a uh, leapfrog in our development. Thank you. Thank you, Fadwa. Yes, uh, we can go to Theo Masango. Theo, are you with us? If you're here, can you kindly respond? Theo Masango. Hi, good, good day, all. I have just landed down at my destination. So I'm trying to sort out immigration and I think I'll be able to settle in the next 15 minutes, hoping that by that time, we are still on the call. I communicated this with uh, Olasa. Yes, yes. Okay, that's okay. That's okay, Theo. Then we can have other speakers and have you later. Hello, Amadu. 
Yeah, Mr. Medorato, uh, thank you very much. Um, um, the question is, um, how can we successfully engage in network online or offline to develop our business? So let me join my month with my friend from Cameroon. I thought I was the only uh, speaker from a French, French English speaking country because I'm from Niger. Niger is um, a French speaking country. Jenny from Cameroon, I hope she is from uh, French side in Cameroon. So my question is how, how can we successfully engage in networking online and of offline to develop our business brand? So we can say uh, in terms of uh, my area, it is information management and database. So we have first to join online community. So online community will, will lead us to, to have uh, some uh, professionals that we can interact with them and develop our ideas in terms of um, information management and also take part in a webinar. Uh, it can also lead us to have some professional in, uh, in terms of training. So you can train ourselves and then develop some models which can uh, lead us to uh, to develop some application for business and so on. So it will it will also uh, give us uh, the interaction with other businessmen and um, other uh, professional in the field and also which will, which 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 can um, uh, give all, uh, us some experience that we can join the community base in terms of developing uh, our our network basis so by by by, by interacting with others it will be uh, we can be also active in social media so when you are doing something if you want some uh, your your name can can get touch so you have to remain on social media and be active in social media and share what you are doing uh, for the other people, it will uh, see and know what you are doing in terms of um, uh, giving something which can develop our uh, different sectors, such as economic sectors in uh, our countries and uh, our countries developing as uh, social and other um, uh, resources. So also we can attend network events. So such as this, these events that we take help so you see there are several participants that are following us so they will see uh, they will um, they, 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 they will have some uh, knowledge some ideas that we are sharing here in this forum so we can carry also business card and then it will give you the some opportunities such as job opportunities it can lead you to have uh, feelings of job vacancy risk affairs so organization love it therefore this has already aware of someone suited for a role towards other for channels so you can see you can have some professional advice also and then you can get your name uh, out there so you know networking ensures people know know you exist so while this my son obviously unless people in your field and study of study known about you you will find favor opportunities come come where uh, come your your way so it will also lead you to develop interpersonal skills so you know uh, in terms of uh, information management and uh, just geographical information system you have to develop some skills in order to deal or to address some issues from our countries so i hear about uh, one of the speaker men mentioned about some uh, uh, area of agriculture. So when you are doing uh, something related to farm, something to relate to agriculture, so you have to model it and then uh, see how we are going to specialize your information or your data or even your products. So you you will you will have a, the network connection and uh, it, it it can lead you to have some customers from. Uh, different terms of from different parts of the world. So it will also lead you 
uh, to have uh, uh, some uh, uh, skills for uh, employment. So when you are you are dealing with uh, information, management, so that means you are sharing information. It can be profitable or benefit for other people that can take it and manage it and uh, address some issues of uh, African development or Africa economics. So that's what I can say about uh, this question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Amadu. Uh, I'm not sure if we give Theo some more time or uh, it's okay, we can have a Theo if you, if you can hear us. Theo, Theo Masango. I think she's still settling in. We can have a, some other time. On to the next part. Do we have any question from our audience? Any question, any question from our audience? Our speakers are here with us to answer any question you might be having. Kachushang Nkosha, uh, you're, you're asking on any examples on online communities for youths? Is that your question? Any examples on online communities for youths? Uh, from our speakers, does anyone have a, an answer for Kachusha Nkosha? Any examples on online communities for youths? Yes, uh, Amadu, or who, who's speaking? I wanted to say something, it's Oladako. Okay, 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 please have the floor. Yeah, um, like I said and other speakers, I think it depends on your interest. Uh, if you go on LinkedIn, there are so many groups uh, uh, that you can join uh, that could be beneficial for you, depending on your interest. And I think the same also uh, with, uh, you can do a lot of research, checking for people or organizations that uh, would, uh, benefit you as a person uh, that you want to network with either on any of the social media platform that is twitter linkedin uh, even facebook uh, so it all depends on what you want so you need to be specific uh, in terms of your area of need uh, before any recommendations can be made thank you thank you thank you oladapo any other question from our audience? Yes, Katrusha Nkosha says thank you. I believe you've been answered. Does any of our speaker has a, an answer different from the one given by Oladapo? Also, our audience is also, they're also free to unmute. You can ask questions also yourself. Douglas. Okay, uh, thank you everyone. As like, maybe, I don't think, I don't know, maybe you can advise, I don't know if I should introduce myself, but I'm Douglas from Uganda, part of the Wikimedia Community User Group in Uganda. Uh, we have like quite a number of projects running, some include youths. But to go straight to the question, uh, maybe I'll ask Mr. Ola Dapo uh, or even any other panelist to respond. Um, what have you seen more beneficial to belong to which community in terms of uh, those communities that uh profit oriented and non-profit oriented what would you recommend or what experiences do you have 
to someone who might want to network as far as communities are concerned. Yeah, that is my question. Uh, thank you, Douglas, uh, for your question. Um, it's a good question, and uh, I will start from this uh, standpoint. Uh, African Development and Advocacy Center is a non-for-profit organization that I founded and I run, uh, but I also have a profit organization, which is a training organization in the UK. And I have different networking uh, that I do for uh, the profit making and the non-profit. For the profit making, I'm more interested in networking uh, with organizations, especially local authority. I think they call it local government or state government or, or, or national government uh, that are happy to uh, give grants so that I can deliver training for free for people within the community that wants to get back into work. I also would network uh, with organizations that uh, we can work together in terms of partnership uh, so that uh, we can have different areas and options of training for people that want to get back into work. That is for my profit making organization. For my non-profit organization, I'm more interested in working and networking with other uh, community organizations. So for example, in London and in Acne that I am based uh, in London, uh, we have an organization, organization called Community African Network. So this is a network of 15 African charities that is based in Acne. And we work together collaboratively uh, to be able to support uh, the people of our community here in London. And the interesting thing about the Community African Organization as a network, which I'm actually the programs manager, is that uh, we have organizations that represent the different ethnicities in Africa. We have organizations that will represent, represent you know, East African communities. Uh, you know, we have organizations that represent the uh, Ethiopian community. We have organizations that represent the Somali community, uh, organizations that represent the Guinea-Bissau community. So we have a mixture of people with expertise and interest in serving their specific community all coming together under one umbrella because we want to ensure that the voices of our communities, especially the African communities that we represent, are at, are at the policy level. So we do that networking for few uh, several purposes. One, for us to be able to raise funds together as a consortium, because we have access to bigger sources of, in, uh, of funding. Two, for us to be able to join resources. So for example, we have rented an office in which a building, which all of us as organizations are able to benefit. So it's like the economic of scale in terms of being able to use you know, a resource and everybody can use that resources as a community. Number three, we have different sort of knowledge and skill sets. So we are able to combine those skill sets. For example, uh, when they need a translation, uh, when they do any uh, public uh, health outreach in acne, they come to Community Africa Network because if they want to translate those leaflets and information to Swahili, to uh, Luganda, to French, to uh, Yoruba, to so they come to us because they know that <clears throat> all the organizations that belong to that uh, umbrella organization have skill set that can translate uh, those information. So uh, that is the benefit <clears throat> of collaboration and networking. When you see you know, things you can do together. And these organizations are, have different focus. Some are focused on family, some focus on children, some focus on mentoring. However, the common denominator for all of us is that we are all African organizations in the UK, and we came together because of that basis. So there is a lot of value uh, in being able to leverage on the different expertise of uh, organizations or individuals. And I believe uh, that is the basis where you have uh, Yalda in the first place, where you're able to leverage on the different uh, you know, skill sets and knowledge of people and then uh, try now to see how you can foster development as a youth organization. I hope I've answered your question to an extent. Yeah. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you, Ladapo. Douglas, are you satisfied? Yeah, thank you. It actually 
he has additionally uh, answered what I wanted to ask on what would be the best recommendation for organizations that are doing the same thing, because we see lots of organizations coming from uh, outside Africa and they're doing community or African development, yet they, are, they get the same resources and they are using it on the same people, but then very many different organizations. So if there's a component of uh, collaboration and combining resources, maybe that is the way forward that we, we can look at uh, and something that uh, Yalda is, is doing to get together uh, organizations for common development. So if you can follow suit and be able to create partnerships, now that uh, even other panelists have shared what they are doing, we can definitely be able to network and be able to meet a common goal. So thank you so much. Thank you, Douglas. Uh, we can have uh, Theo Masango. She's back with us. Theo, I saw her logged in, but now I can't see her among the participants. As we wait, there's Godfast Ballet. Do you have any question, Godfast? Hello? Yes, yes. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, this is Godfest from the New City, Nigeria. Uh, I just want to make an observation. And uh, my observation is uh, based on this uh, program, effectiveness of community networking for African development. To a great extent, I believe within me that the other objective uh, covers this, uh, this the, the title of this program, because ever since uh, I became part of God first, I think we lost you. Hello. Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. There's some background noise coming from your end. I think we have now lost. As he tries to sort issues on his end. Any other question from the audience? Is Theo with us? Is Theo back with us, Theo? I can't see her as a participant. Theo, are you with us? This is Godfrey. Oh, you're Hello. back. Yeah, yes, yeah. I was yes. saying, actually, since I became a member of uh, Yada, that was like uh, last year, I've had uh, communicative friendship with people in Egypt, you know? With people in uh, in uh, Uganda, people in Botswana, but before then, you know, I've I've I've, I've dreamt of you know participating in the African integration, in uh, African development, you know, in uh, the continental growth. I've envisioned such things, but part of it practically. So ever since my association with the organization, you know. I've had the opportunity to be in this kind of seminar. So I'm trying to say I'm grateful to Yada for the opportunities they've given to me, you know, to be part of such gathering, mm -hmm. such networking. Uh, I don't think uh, uh, if I was not part of, if I was not part of Yada, I would have had the opportunity to listen to people like uh, Lada for speak, you know, or meet some people like Douglas. So that's my contribution. Thank you. Thank you, God first, and thank you to our speakers. Seems like uh, we don't have any other question from the audience, and uh, Theo is not back with us. I 
maybe we can just finish if we can have a closing remarks from our speakers each one of them having one minute each we can have a first to go oladapo if you can hear me yeah uh thank you uh immaculate thank you yada for inviting me today uh it has been an enriching engagement uh with other speakers and also the audience uh, i've actually benefited more than i believe that i've contributed uh i i'll just close by saying that uh when we think of networking we should not only think of the financial gains uh there is a lot we can gain uh in terms of knowledge in terms of building relationship uh, because uh, in life is the relationship we build uh, that will get us to where we are going to and it's not often translated in terms of money uh, it's more about uh, the value uh, that we give and the value that we get so uh, there is a lot that uh, can be done in africa if we think that way rather than always thinking of money which has been a big issue within the uh, younger generation uh, so uh, I would uh, be happy to network and to work with uh, uh, any organization or any individual. I have a number of uh, young uh, people, both as individual and as organizations, uh, young organizations uh, in the UK that I mentor, uh, and I will be glad uh, to work in collaboration uh, with any other organization or individual uh, on this platform. And thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Oladapo. We can have Amadu. Amadu, if you can hear us, we have, you have one minute for closing remark. Amadu? Amadu seems uh, we've lost Amadu. Fadwa, if yeah, you're with us, Fadwa? Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, I would like to, uh, to thank you for uh, for giving me this opportunity to to e meet you all and to uh, to be a part of this webinar and as my colleague Oladapo said uh, that uh, it uh, it doesn't stop uh, on the financial aspects it also have to we have to dream we have to uh, uh to to think big and to dream that one day we can have uh, um, all the african countries uh, working together with no borders uh because we we have a uh, a lot of uh, resources and we have to benefit from this so uh, we have to collaborate and uh, we have to think uh, together not just uh, Yalda is uh, the 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 webinar that you 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 are doing now is a is a great step. We have to uh, to work and work and work. As I work at the Biblioteca Alexandrina uh, in Egypt, uh, we organize uh, lots of conferences, and we will organize uh, one uh, the next year talking about uh, Africa so um, we have to we have to work we have to work uh, we have to, uh, to to dream we have to uh, to be like one country not countries we have to to uh, to to remove uh, any borders and uh, to to benefit from each other so thank you again. It was a great opportunity to to meet you all, uh, to uh, to discuss with you all, and uh, till the next one. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, Fadwa. We can have Crystal. Crystal, if you can hear us, you have one minute to give a closing remark. Crystal. Seems like we've lost Crystal. Julie, if you can hear us. Julie? Yes, I'm here. Well, uh, yes. from my side, I thank you. I thank you, uh, the team from Yauda, for the invitation. Uh, thank you to the speakers. This has been a, a very rich conversation. Um, like Oladapo said, I was also learning, I've done a lot of learning on this call today. 
uh, networking is the key for us uh, to continue to grow as Africa. Uh, like Fadwa said, it's about time we break the boundaries. It's about time we come together and have these partnerships, these collaborations. Please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I lead the team at Mukazi Prenua. In Mukazi Prenua, we create uh, programs, tools, and resources for women entrepreneurs to thrive. Uh, we have a community of over 200 women in Uganda. Uh, we've expanded to Kenya. We have a community of about 68 women there. We just started uh, late foot in uh, Rwanda, and we want to see how we can support women entrepreneurs uh, all over Africa. Uh, don't hesitate to contact me. Uh, thank you and have a good evening. Thank you so much, Julie. Thank you so much, Julie. Uh, seems like we still don't have Theo, so we'll just close and finish the program. Yes, thank you so much uh, to our speakers. The, it was such an insightful, such a very great learning opportunity for everyone of us, including me. Thank you for having me as your moderator today. Thank you to our audience. The program has been short, but I hope next time we have more time to learn because I've realized there's so much to share on this topic. Yes, as we just finish, uh, guys, you can continue sharing your contact in the group. Yes, thank you so much for today's session. I think that will be all. Thank you. Yelda has the floor. Okay, thank you all. And I think I'll end at this point. Just wishing you all the best and have a good evening, depending on the way you are afternoon, whichever time zone you are in. Thank you. All.